Greetings, greetings, greetings. So I'm doing this video uh, Monday night at about uh, almost 9 p.m. Um, after I do this video, I'm going to watch this football game. So he did a Sunday night live and he had a guest on it. And I am going to title his Sunday night live long winded, long winded. And I know I'm long winded, but good gracious. William just talk and talk and talk and talk. And a lot of times he's just rambling. So let's get right into it. So he brings someone on to the interview. Um, but he gives this long, long, this was, y'all, this was his hat. That was the, the hat for, t for the day. Y'all know he had the hat on all day from 10 o'clock that morning till he did this video till 2 a.m. at night. Honey, I know he have to use some air fresheners for the inside of that hat. Why do I have to do that? Why do I do that? So he brings on this guy. This guy that you see on the screen. He brings him on. And this um, this uh, gentleman um, is the uncle of Kyrie Burke. And I think that's his name. Remember, William and Kyrie Burke um, got into... Uh, uh, online uh, verbal fight um, concerning uh, William jumping into his business, uh, showing pictures of him and his um, what you call it, his dong at the beach, and some other pictures. And and Kyrie, you know, he was like, "I'm not the one." So you know, him and William was going back and forth. Well, this guy, I don't know how William found him or how they they contacted each other, but he is the uncle of Kyrie's ex-wife. I'm assuming him and the young lady is um is divorced. Y'all remember Kyrie? Let me show y'all Kyrie. Yeah, that guy. Hey Kyrie. <laughs> um so William interviewed him. Now he brings him on um to interview him and he does this long I'm talking about this long introduction. This long introduction. And while he's doing this long introduction, we still don't know the man's name or nothing. William's just talking and talking and talking and talking. And so he finally introduces him and finally lets him speak. So one of the things, it, so the, 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 basically the uncle was talking about uh, how he felt about Kyrie. He, he doesn't like Kyrie and I'm going to tell y'all why in a few minutes. Well, I'm going to tell y'all why now. According to this uncle, uh, and I hope I'm pronou pronouncing his name right, Kyrie. Yeah, Kyrie. Let me just say Kyrie. And if I'm pronouncing it wrong, then I'm protecting the guilty or the innocent, whichever one he is. But the, according to this uh, gentleman, uh, the uncle of Kyrie's ex-wife, he said that Kyrie uh, physically abused his niece. That's that's according to the uncle, that he physically, uh, uh, physically and verbally abused his niece. And one of the things that I found interesting that he said was that um, when you have a man jealous of a woman or in competition with a woman, that's a huge problem. Well, sir, you're being interviewed by a huge problem because William is constantly in competition with women and he does not like us the way he talks about us he does not like us so he goes on to talk about the nephew and how he was verbally abusive and seemed to be um, a little jealous of his wife that the attention that that his niece which was Kyrie's wife got and um and as he's you know telling his story um, William interrupts the video to discuss if the live feed was clear. He, I mean, he just stopped. I mean, he don't say, excuse me, hold on, nothing. He just said, uh, what are y'all talking about in the, in the, in, in the comments? You know, he starts, what do you mean it's not clear? What are you, what are you talking about? You know, and he goes on like that, you know, trying to fix this technical issue, uh, for a good long time. And then before he allows the man to speak again, then he goes into this, given all of these scriptures that kind of was off topic, uh, it's almost like he wanted to impress the man, you know? So he starts giving all these off topic 
scriptures and, and fussing and, 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 and y'all don't like this kind and, and, and something about, you know, things happen. And I mean, you know, it just, it was just kind of off topic. It was like, he was trying to impress him with, watch me, watch how I fuss at my audience. Watch how I uh, rebuke them and get them into check. And it was like, all of that wasn't even necessary. And again, you brought this man on as your guest and you haven't let him say a good three sentences yet. And now this guy did say that he was in law enforcement and he also said that he himself was a clergy. So I don't know whether he's got a church, he's over a church, but it was almost like William was, uh, you know, was, um, doing some type of, uh, what would you call it? Um, like he was, uh, 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 trying to get, I can't even think of the word y'all. I can't, I'm, I'm, it's so late. Well, it's late for me. I'm usually trying to go to sleep about right now, but it was auditioning. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm sounding like William. I can't find my words. I'm hearing and hawing and rambling. But anyway, it was almost like he was auditioning uh, to try to get this man to invite him to his church or something, you know, as a guest speaker. So anyway, so anyway, so um, finally he lets the man start back talking again, uh, but not for long before he interrupt. Um, And y'all, I'm sorry. I lost, I lost my notes for a minute. I lost my notes for a minute. I apologize. So while he was talking, he was talking about, you know, again, uh, Kyrie was married to the niece and he felt like that Kyrie was mean to the niece. Um, and I wanted, I wanted somebody to ask him, uh, was he aware during the marriage that his niece was being abused or harm? But of course there was so much, other talking going on that you know that question could never be asked um lost my stuff in my notes again y'all give me a second give me a second and so he went on to say um he went on to say that that the niece had a a, a child by uh Kari and that even during her pregnancy then, then um, there was some abuse going on. And really, that kind of answered my question because he said that's when he got a call from his sister um, telling him that she was at the hospital. So I'm assuming that's when he finds out uh, the niece allegedly was being abused by this guy. Now, um, the thing that gets me is that he's talking about it. Now, this was years ago. This wasn't like last month or last week. This was or last year even. This was years ago. So that's what made me wonder, okay, you're, you're trying to find him now? I mean, all of a sudden, you know, you're upset now. You're trying to find him now. Um, did you not know about it before? Um, and, and, and then William kept cutting him off, cutting him off. It was, it was so annoying to hear because you trying to let, trying to let the man tell it or wanting to hear the man tell a story. And one thing about church folk, we church folk can't just tell something. We got to throw in all of these scriptures and, and all of these, you know, these churchy sayings and all of this instead of just telling the story anyway. So it started getting annoying to me. And then I could tell that William was a little bored with it because he he was sighing. You know, William ain't interested unless it's some type of, uh, of sex scandal or sex talks going on. So he was sighing and cutting the man off and wanting to move here and move to there. So then they start talking about uh, being appropriately dressed for church and being sac sanctified. It was almost like the gentleman was trying to uh, insinuate that maybe um, Kyrie might have been a little um, feminine or something. I don't know. But they start talking about that. And, and I'm like tripping because I'm like, uh, do you not see this dude that's interviewing you? You know, y'all talking about people uh, coming to church any kind of way and not being appropriate dress and not being sanctified. And I'm like, do you not see? OK, let's see. Let's see. This is the person that's interviewing you, sir. And this is what he has on as he's interviewing you. Okay. <laughs> I 
comment as I was watching this interview, I was wondering, I wonder what this man is thinking of these nails. What this man is thinking of this uh, this womanly looking um, Sunday go, uh, Easter Sunday go uh, hat. I mean, really? And those are William's favorite shoes, too. We, we see those shoes a lot. So I'm just kind of, you know, I, I'm just kind of wondering what this man is thinking. But he seems to like William. He seems to have watched William before from, from what he's saying. And uh, and I'm not trying to, um, I want to use the word undermine, but I don't know if that's the word. But I'm not trying to minimize uh what he is saying that his niece went through allegedly. And the only reason why I'm saying allegedly is because I don't know both sides, you know. Um, I don't know what Kyrie, you know, whether he's going to say is true, what his defense is. So that's why, I, that's the only reason why I say that. I'm not saying it out of no disrespect. But, um, uh, and I'm not trying to, you know, uh, make that of, of none importance. But I just have to admit, I was sitting here wondering what was this guy thinking of William? But he seemed to be, pretty cool and okay with William. So again, this guy said he's in law enforcement and that he is looking for him. So I think that Kyrie and this guy's niece lived in um, South Jersey at the time, but Kyrie has moved to Atlanta. So he told William when he comes, he wants to have dinner with him. He used the term, let's break bread. And then after the date, I meant Okay, I'm being shady, not a date. He's, you know, he said he's going to find this man. He, so he's going to Atlanta, and when he gets to Atlanta, the first thing he's going to do is, is, is go out and eat dinner with William. And, and then after he eats dinner with William, he's going to find him. He doesn't, he, you know, he said he doesn't care whether it's in the Walmart, the shoe store, the park. Uh, 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 where is that? You're going to run up on this dude. So let's, 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 let's take a listen. Let's take a listen. The embarrassment of her having a child with someone like that. Um, she's scarred from that. Um, the child will be taken care of. Uh, that's not the issue. The issue is uh, you have someone out there who is making a, a, a mockery. Uh, not just out of uh, the church, because he's calling himself uh, some general overseer, some uh, whatever he thinks he is. Uh, but I want to make sure it doesn't happen to anybody else's uh, family member. You know, so um, I, I'm I'm looking to find him so I can mm -hmm. talk. Um, you know, uh, I will let you know when I come to Atlanta. Um, yeah. Because I, I want to... Uh, just uh, in the spirit of fellowship and brotherhood, um, I want us to sit down and break bread together. Um, and I will let him know if we need to go back to Landmark or anywhere else uh, where I will be. Uh, that way, if he feels like he wants to confront me, um, I will give him every opportunity to. Uh, if I find any church where he thinks he wants to preach at, uh, I'm going to drag him out of the pulpit um, if I see him anywhere in Atlanta, uh, because he thinks he's a fashionista, um, if he's anywhere shopping, um, I'm going to confront him where I find him. Uh, I don't right. Walmart, I don't care if it's Kroger, Publix, um, I don't care where it's at. Eventually, I'm going to see that young man because all he thinks he knows is church. So he's not a street guy, not at all. Um, and he hangs around too many churches. Where he does not understand. He just, and he even came on, I think, Wednesday night on the live and said that um, that he had seen me or that we were at one of the same services that, you know, that Sunday. And so, you know, uh, Sunday, you, you, you didn't resign until... Look at William Tattletelling, trying to get this guy to help fight his battles. So, you know, again, I, you know, this guy s is, says that he's a minister, but, you know, it's obviously that he's not going to go and, and, and restore the young man or have prayer with him or get him del delivered or anything like that. 
Um, he act like he's pulling up. So I don't know, but it, it's so funny to me that we as church folks can never say stuff normal. He can never, he couldn't say, well, when I get in town, let, man, let's go grab a bite to eat. No, he's got, he, in, fellow, in the spirit of, of brotherhood, fellowship and break bread. <laughs> I ain't picking at him, y'all. I ain't picking at him. I'm just saying though. But anyway, so basically this guy's niece was married to Kyrie. Um, she has a child by him and he was mentally, mentally and physically uh, abusive to her, um, allegedly, according to the the uncle here that's on um, the screen. So the interview was about a, uh, was about an hour, and uh, so finally, after they finished talking, just just slightly over an hour, William went on to his next topic. But before going to his next topic. Um, he was having problems again throughout the whole thing. Somebody kept telling him there was issues with the audio. Maybe I couldn't tell because I was watching the replay. So I don't know in live time was there a lot of buffering and whatever. But, you know, William was kept trying to decide whether he was going to stop the video and restart the video or what he was going to do about it. Um, but he was just, like I said, William was like heeing and hawing and rambling and, and, and listen, 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 y'all. Uh, you know, uh, texts and inboxes in regard to this. I don't know what shadow banning is, so I don't know if uh, if my uh, uh, if my uh, uh, live is. I don't, I don't know what's going. And, and y'all, y'all probably wonder why she played that. He wasn't saying nothing. That seemed like most of the video out of the two hour video. There was a, a, at least about 45 minutes worth of, um, uh, um, I, um, it's like, get it together, dude, get it together. So he was saying that with all the technical, uh, technical difficulties, that the video dropped from, um, you know, like being over 300 people uh, down to, he never did say, but I, it seemed like it might have dropped down to about 80 folks, 100 folks. So throughout the video, he kept telling people to share this video out, tell people I'm on, tear this video out. So he starts talking about mental health. By the way, yesterday was mental health um health mental health day for 2021. And he starts talking about mental the mental health of the trolls. That was in his chat. He said one particular troll that's creating pages and creating, uh, cloning his picture. Uh, and, and then, after, you know, as he was talking about it before and after and during, there was like 35 or more uh, those mad faces. Y'all know the mad faces you can do on Facebook. Those of you who are on Facebook, just just scrolling up. They were just flying through the air, just a bunch of mad faces. Um and uh, he starts fussing about people messaging him. Oh, so I'm going on to the ne next topic. The next topic. He starts message. He, he starts fussing about people messaging him that was upset with him over posting um, pictures of the deceased as they was laying out, you know, um, at their home going. Now, William is notorious for doing this. And what's going to happen is he's going to mess around and get banned from home goings. These home goings of well-known um, clergy and people. His name is going to get out that he does it. And, and, uh, and families, you know, that families, after families ask that he not do it and others not do it. And his name is going to get out. And they're going to have people standing at the door banning him from attending funerals. And then he's going to think the folks doing him wrong. I've seen people get banned from funerals before. Uh, habitual y'all ever known of habitual funeral goers you know it's like i ain't trying to go to one i don't know why people just love showing up for them but anyway you know um but he's gonna get banned from going if he don't try to show some respect you know rather they're doing um because a lot of people do uh a live stream now because some family members or some close loved ones can't show up for the services because of this pandemic we're in and travel issues and things like that. So people have gone to do that, but that doesn't give you permission to start snapping up pictures to, to post up on your page. I just think it's a rude, rude thing to do, but he thinks it's okay. And not only do he think it's okay. He said, don't be coming for him telling him not to do it. If you, if you don't want him to do it, keep it closed. He going to get banned. 
he's going to get banned from, from going. People people going to find out and they're going to know it's him and they're going to be like, look, when you see this guy, do not let him in. So moving on to the next topic. So next topic, he's talking, still talking about the home going services of this lady. And he said that uh, minister or Dr. Juanita, Juanita Bynum did a broadcast um, in uh, tribute to Mother Stax. And um, and in this broadcast, you know, people were sending in uh, donations by cash app or I don't know how they was. You know, I want to say super chat. That's what we do on YouTube. But I don't know where this broadcast was, but they were sending in do- donations. Now, according to William, according to William, um, that he said no one knew how much was collected. And William mentioned that a, a, a policy, um, that she had a policy, but they couldn't find the policy. Um, they couldn't locate the policy at the time. And so I guess William felt like that's why uh, Dr. Bynum was taken up. Uh, funds at this uh, on this live of this broadcast that she was doing um but after they found the according this is all according to william after they found this policy uh william was like well nobody uh contacted uh dr bynum of her staff to let them know that they uh found this policy i guess in william's uh, uh thinking is that they should have maybe discussed this policy with dr bynum and say hey you know, we, how much did you collect? We got this much. I don't know. But anyway, um, in this, uh, picture, this picture I got off somebody else's page whose name I won't give, but it says in being alleged, it is, it's being alleged that the, uh, comment that the sister, a uh, mother, uh, stacks made at her memorial service in front of thousands was due to speculation surrounding alleged tens of thousands raised by Dr. Bynum. Uh, on on the behalf of the family on her platform allegedly the money has not reached the family and then it looks like there's a little shade there but um so William posed the question was Dr. Bynum obligated to give those funds from the broadcast um since the policy was found so William was thinking was the policies found the family should use the policy which a lot of people assume that insurance policy is is for burial you know, but really, technically, it's up to the beneficiary of that policy, whoever the beneficiary of the policy is. And the beneficiary of policies are not determined by who's the next of kin. It's, it's determined by whose name is there designated as the beneficiary of the policy and nothing else. Not a not a will, not a trust, not a no type of not a LL, no kind of other document overrides a beneficiary designation so basically you know and, and a person can name whoever they want as beneficiary they can name their pet cat as beneficiary if they want to now in some um states there are certain laws but you know it's for the most part you can name whoever you want as a beneficiary on the policy so there's a lot of misconceptions about uh policy or life insurance policies and beneficiaries y'all need to go check those things out and make sure that y'all don't have some wrong thinking in your head but anyway so maybe the person who was the beneficiary or the owner of the policy didn't want to designate it for the funeral you don't have to there's no law that says you have to use it for those purposes but anyway so the question was should um should you know dr bynum have given those funds over since the policy was found. So this lady here, Pastor Valerie, um, she said you should give the money to the family or return it back to the sender, senders, period, with the T, period. And I say, and, and that's what I say. I say, yes, since the donations or uh, since the donations uh, the, or the donators, the people who donated the money were told uh, that it was going to this tribute to uh to 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 the deceased then i think that yeah they should um send the money to the family for whatever use that they need it for but william was worried about the family getting the money and what they were going to do with the money and they had the insurance policy there's so much like i said misconceptions about policies and and what it should be used for you can use it when you are beneficiary of a policy you can use it for whatever you want to use it for 
period. Unless it's in a trust, unless the beneficiary is the trust or the beneficiary is the state, you can do what you want to do with it. Anyway, that's um, estate planning uh, 201. It's not 101, it's 201. There was another very interesting com uh, uh, um, comment that was so true. It says, legally per the IRS, for any nonprofit, any funds received must be given to the cause that the funds were raised for. If not given to the cause, all the funds must be returned to each person who gave unless it was also stated that the funds could be used for other areas deemed necessary. That is what they um, hung uh, PTL. Y'all remember PTL, uh, that, that broadcast, on. We must know the law as the church. I say that all the time. Churches, you have to have your finances in order you can't do what you want to do because you are church there are laws we live in this lands and, and and jesus told us to obey the laws of the land render unto caesar's what is caesar's we cannot do what we want to do in the church in fact because we in church we shouldn't do what we want to do we ought to be the most law-abiding citizens but anyway let me jump off my soapbox here um they went on to say we must know the law as the church this conversation should probably have have taken place on the on uh, not have taken place on the world wide well because this can give calls for the IRS to begin looking into um, Dr. Biden's finances and that's true uh, you're not untouchable because you're the church I never forget um, Bishop Willis Church of God in Christ Virginia Beach the IRS now, the story goes that the IRS was so there so long that one of them joined the church. But I don't think that was particularly true. But the IRS was in their church a long time. And I think that Bishop Willis' daughter ended up doing some federal time. You have to, you know, treat those finances correctly um, in, in church and when you are a nonprofit and all of that. So you can't just do, you know, William's suggestion was that they, you know, take the funds and do a, a scholarship plan and you know maybe it's, it's christmas is coming up and maybe buy keep toys for kids and needs and clothes and stuff but again you know how when she took up the funds and people were sending it in did she say how those funds would be allocated or did she say how those funds that's very important okay off my soapbox so anyway so yeah i think that they should do you know, and I don't know. I, you know, I didn't watch the service. Some of you who watched the service, you can say whether or not she even, you know, had the tribute. Was the tribute just the tribute um, to, in memory of this of this great lady? Or was the tribute for the purposes of taking up funds? Y'all tell me in the comments. I don't know. I'm just going by what William said. I ain't even know nothing about none of this until William said it. So, as y'all know, or some of y'all may not know, so I may be telling y'all for the first time, uh, William loved himself so I need to buy them. I mean, he, she can do no wrong as far as William goes. He said if Juanita Biden comes out and preach in a thong, he'll find a way to defend her and make it make it all right. That's what, that's what he said. Uh, William loves Juanita Biden. And so, you know, talking about this service and everything and, and everything, he it seems like the uh, lady unfortunately had a fire uh, I think she lost her house in the fire before her passing and he starts asking all these questions and things because he you know he's defending Juanita and you know saying you know y'all need to get off Juanita why does she have to have the services in the first place blah 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 so uh so he said he made a comment which I'm gonna jump back over my soapbox again and, and, and do some corrections on he said everybody he said all of y'all need to know who has power of attorney over your you know, parents or your family member, just in case they pass, you know, you'll know who can take care of the affairs. Mm, correction. Power of attorneys. Power of attorneys terminate at the death of the person who the power of attorney is on. You, you can run that power of attorney up to that bank, tell me that person has passed, and they're going to tell you this document is not worth the paper that it's on. It terminates. The day and the hour that that person passed, that document is no longer valid. Mm -hmm. Power of attorney is for the living, not for the dead. If the blood is running cold in their veins, the power of attorney is no longer good. I know y'all going to argue with me. Go on and argue with me, but I'm trying to tell you what I know. <laughs> anyway, 
So th that was some bad advice. You, you know, you're going to have to get you, you know, letters, testamentary, administration, whatever it's called in your state or a smaller state affidavit to take care of folks affairs. Hmm. Hopefully, you know, they'll have your name on stuff along with theirs. So you won't have to go through all of that. But y'all listen. Jumping off topic on topic here. Listen, listen, have all that straight now. You know, it's something that you don't really want to talk about right now. It, you know, you don't want to go to your loved one and say, hey, where's your policy? Hey, do you have your updated beneficiaries? You know, you don't be having that, that ex-spouse you, you, you divorced 20 years ago still on it or somebody who passed and or, you know, and all of that. Make sure all of those things are in order. You know, somebody else on the bank account, they can get to the funds, that type thing. Have all of that. Don't wait till the end and then y'all fighting out, you know, in front of grandma's house. OK, so anyway. So, of course, he cannot end alive without um, bringing up some sex tape, sex scandal, sex something. Y'all know William. So he had to go into that and even showed us video. Now, he covered it up. Now, William, I'm going to need you to get StreamYard. I think StreamYard works in conjunction with Facebook since you insist upon, since you insist upon using Facebook as your uh, uh, broadcasting application. StreamYard. Go on StreamYard and then you can do screen share rather than picking up your phone with an envelope in front of it so we don't see the, the dude's ping ping and doing all of that and trying to hold you know, record by holding another device to show us a picture. You could have used screen share anyway. But, you know, he had to show us the picture of the folks doing doing the nasty. And all of that, because uh, William just cannot get through a video with, without bringing up the nasty. So he and then he was showing us pictures of guys and talking about who is that? If you don't know who it is, why is it in your phone? Why are people sending you pictures of folks? You don't know who it is. They don't know who it is. We don't know who it is. Folks was like in the chat talking about, oh, who is that? Uh, what they preach at? Uh, what state they live in? Why are we looking at it? We don't know who it is. We just looking at men, these two men laid up. But anyway, moving on. Y'all know that William can't do anything. So he um, also advertised his shirts. And that kind of tickled me because uh, this guy, oh, I should have covered his name. But <laughs> Al said, hey, where my shirt at? I ain't get my shirt. So William was like, it's in the mail. Uh, I sent it. You know, it's going to take time to get there. Okay, I'm going to inbox you your tracking number. William, now you're getting these people money. You need to get their product in the mail. But speaking of people product in the mail, guess who got their product? Tracy ordered Tracy ordered his stuff. Tracy ordered his stuff. He was showing his little mouse pad. He did leave the mouse pad. That mouse pad is dirty. But I like the mouse pads too, y'all, with the arm, the wrist rest on it. I will not use a, uh, a mouse pad without that wrist rest on it. I'm pointing it like y'all can see my finger. But yeah, he needed another one because that one is, now that thing was dirty, honey. It'll give you a, a, a skin infection. But he got him a little mouse pad and, and William sent him a little note with it. Let me see if I can read it. Uh, greetings, Tracy. Thanks for so much for your support. Oh, he said, please send a little nice letter. Finally laughing. You got uh, a mouse pad and then. I can't see the rest of it because of my eyes. Thank you for your support. I think it says something like that. Sir William. That was nice. That was that was that was nice. And so Tracy sent him back a thank you. So I just thought I would share that with y'all. Hey Tracy. Tracy, you're one of my favorite people. I just like to mess with you. I be hating on you, Tracy. Don't pay me no mind. I be hating on you. But anyway, that is the recap of Sir William McCray Sunday Night Live. Y'all probably won't see this till in the morning. Um or I, so I can up, update it and upload it and whatever else I have to do. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to share with y'all. And I don't think there is. So hope that y'all have a great, blessed, safe week. This is Miss Cruiser 2. Please like, share and subscribe.